the light of the world is the moon reflecting the light of Christ, and that's why men wanted to get to the moon. Take your Bible and turn to the Song of Solomon, and get the Song of Solomon in chapter 6. And notice the church, the body of Christ, is likened to the moon. Now, they don't know why they want to get to the moon. The Bible says the prince, the powers of the uh, air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, the devil's spirit, works in unsaved men, especially in the scientists, educators, and religious leaders. And he guides these men and inspires them and helps them. And all they want to know, all, all they have in mind is get to the moon to find proof of evolution. That's what they got in their mind. But there's another mind behind theirs, and that mind knows what the moon represents. And when the world gets to the moon, it means the world has taken over the church. Song of Solomon 6, 9. My dove, my undefiled, Paul says, chaste virgin. Second Corinthians 11. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. The Bible says, I've espoused you to Christ as one chaste virgin. There's one body. You're members of one body, but one. She is the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bore her. The daughters saw her and blessed her. Yea, the queens and the concubines, they praised her. Now watch it. Ten. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning? She's going to come as a bride. Who is she that showeth forth as the morning? Verse 10, fair as the moon. The moon shines at night, back in here. Christ said, you're the light of the world. Clear as the sun, back in Christ. Son of righteousness, Malachi chapter 4, you studied last week. And terrible as an army with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven banners. Banners. So in this age, the church is like the moon. She puts out a light at night. Someday she'll come back to this earth, but she comes back to this earth with Christ. She comes back as the sun coming up in the morning. When she comes the next time, she comes as an army with banners. So in this age, the weapons of our warfare, Paul says, are not carnal, but mighty through God, the pulling down of strongholds. And when we come down, when we come again, the weapons of our warfare are carnal. We have swords. Take your Bible and turn to Joel chapter 2. In this age, in night time, our weapon is the sword of the Spirit, a spiritual sword. When we return, we have literal weapons. Turn to Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, and get Joel chapter 2 in one hand, and get uh, John 18 in the other. John 18 in the other. Now, this is the difference in the church's ministry in this age, night time, and the church's ministry at the Advent, which is daytime. The Bible said the Christian should study to show himself approved unto God, a work that he is not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, John 18, and this is Jesus before Pontius Pilate. John 18, Jesus before Pontius Pilate. John 18, verse 37. Now I'll begin at 36. John 18, 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants what? Fight. Fight. When Simon Peter drew that sword right in that same chapter, back there at verse 11, the Lord said, Put it back. Why? Because his kingdom was not of this world. If his kingdom were of this world, he told Peter, Get to it and give it to him. All right, 36. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. Now watch every word carefully. But now, underline it, now is my kingdom not from hence. From where? From the world. But now is my kingdom not from hence. What's the implication? The implication is someday it will be from hence. Notice, now it's not from hence. So in the New American Standard Version, other corrupt translations, you'll find the word now has been removed. It's not in the Amplified Version. The Lockman Foundation that put out the New American Standard Version, the Amplified Version, the Lockman Foundation has a, has a leaning toward amillennialism, no millennium. So you'll find the word now taken out of the New American Standard Version and the Amplified Version, recommended by Bob Jones, Tennessee, Dollar, Fully, uh, Fuller, Moody, uh, Columbia, Wheaton, Biola, Prairie Bible Institute, and the other...